So if Supercard doesn't make some serious changes, this could be the end. <laughs> Supercard. So could it be the very end here soon for WWE Supercard? That's the question, that's the discussion, that's the topic of this video because as time goes on, this game is not getting any better and it's just really repetitive all the time, you guys know that. And at this point in time, the game is not in a good state. They don't really add anything that keeps the players interested or invested in the game, including myself. And I've been playing this since season two. So uh, I could tell you guys there has been lots of changes made from that time up to now, but it seems like from season five, uh, you know, through season six, it just seems like they're not really doing all that much and they're not really caring, I guess you could say. I don't really know. I mean, I don't want to say they don't care about this game, but it just seems like they're getting more lazy or more, I, I don't know, they're just not investing much into it, which means more players are leaving the game. And, uh, you know, that's why I wanted to make this video. Could, by the end of Season 7, be it for Supercard? Unless they make some necessary changes. And I do want to talk about some nece uh, necessary changes that I think they could make to fix this game and maybe bring the player base back a little bit. Because, like I said, as of right now, this game is just not in a very good state. And they have to do lots of changes. They have to add some new things here to kind of spice it up a little bit. Or they are just going to completely kill off the game altogether. Uh, that's just how I'm feeling. Feeling, and I've been noticing it more with the community and stuff like that. Uh, there was a YouTuber recently, don't want to mention any names, that is thinking about quitting uh, for making super card content. And honestly, I don't blame the person. Uh, you know, if this wasn't what the majority of my channel is about, then I think I honestly would be done with this game at this point too. Because honestly, I just don't feel the same love that I once did with super card. Uh, you know, through season two up to four, that was great. You know, even through season five, I was still really liking the game quite a bit. But then towards the end of season five, like the very end, into season six, and then, you know, up to this point now, I've just noticed my love and my motivation to want to play this game is just getting lesser and lesser each time. You know what I mean? So unless they make the necessary changes that I will be going over here in the video, I think this could be the very final nail in the coffin for Supercard if they don't decide to fix things, make things better, and be a little bit more responsive with things. Like, yeah, I know they let us know about the whole Super Pass stuff. They usually give us a heads up on what we're going to need or what we're going to be doing for the next Super Pass. But honestly, even with the Super Pass, I feel like that's not even really keeping the game interesting, in my opinion. The Super Pass was very cool at first because, you know, it was new. It was something new. Every time we get something new in any type of video game, it's always exciting. You know what I mean? Until you get to play around with it for a little bit and see what it's all about. And then once you do, you kind of get sick of it. Unless it's something really really good, you know? And I gotta say, the Super Pass isn't something really good. Like, it delivers content, additional content, more stuff to play for, but honestly, this game is already tedious, and, uh, you know, it just, it creates so much of a chore already by itself with the events and the team events and the PvPs and stuff. There's already so much happening in the game that adding the Super Pass kind of just... I don't know, it gives us even more than we're already, uh, you know, doing now, you know what I mean? It's like, between the events and the PvPs, I'm already, like, you know, investing a lot of time into this game, uh, but the Super Pass, to me, is just like a very, very big, annoying quest, you know? Uh, have you guys noticed that, too? It's just like a big, annoying quest. I honestly don't even complete half the Super Pass stuff anymore, because it's just, it's too tedious, they want too much stuff. Like, for example, I'll show you guys what I mean here after this, there's one particular challenge in this week's Super Pass that and I'm like, really, Cat Daddy? That's going to take a bit to complete. So I'm going to go over that here once I am done finishing up my picks. And let's get into talking about one thing I think they need to do to kind of uh, fix the game and make it so, or less of a chore, I guess you could say. And that is they need to tweak all of the events. They need to tweak the Road to Glories. They need to make each card less points. Let's be real, guys. It takes so long to go through the cards with, uh, you know, the normal Road to Glories. Not so much with the Team Road to Glories. If you have a full 20 active uh, player team and they're all doing their job and stuff, then you could get through the Team Road to Glory very quick. But as far as the solo road to glory and even the solo like ring dominations and stuff they take way excuse me way too long to complete you know what i mean half the time i'm picking down to the last cards before i even find a shard for the ring dominations and that makes getting through three to sometimes six cards 
very taskful, very annoying, you know what I mean? And just very tedious. And the same with the Road to Glories. They just need to knock the points down. They need to knock the amount of shards you need to find down for ring domination. I think Giants is okay, besides like, you know, like the points I guess could be tweaked a little bit too. Uh, I know our cards are getting stronger, but the problem is they're just making the point values way too high now for the event cards in Giants, in my opinion anyways. But now let's get into checking out the Super Pass, and I'll show you guys what mission I'm talking about or I was referring to specifically and that's this one right here. Start a fusion using the SummerSlam 19 recipe. Now, if you don't have any cards close to the, Summer, uh, to the SummerSlam 19 fusion, then it's going to take you a while if you have to start all the way from the beginning to get up to the SummerSlam 19, and you have to do this three times. So that's very taskful, you know what I mean? And then some of the other ones aren't so bad. Win a game in Royal Rumble, uh, you know, do that ten times. That's not bad. Perfect pro a card. That could kind of be annoying, but that's not terrible either. But then you get challenges like this where it's like win a game using a road case support card. I've heard countless numbers of players saying they can't find road case cards or they can't find the steel chair that they needed for the previous week and stuff like that. I think it was week three that you had to use the chair or whatever it was. Maybe it was even week two. I don't even remember. Let's check week two. Was it week two? Yeah. Win a game using a chair support card. This was week two's super pass challenge you had to do 30 times. That's not bad if you already have a chair, but good luck trying to find a chair off the draft board. So this is where the super pass kind of gets annoying in a sense, and that's why I think of it as just a bigger, more annoying quest, you know? So to me, the super pass is already dead. I have already lost a lot of interest in this. Don't get me wrong, I'll complete stuff here and there, or if I'm just casually playing and I so happen to complete something that I'm like, hey, cool, I got that done, you know? But I'm not really going out of my way at this point to really be like, okay, I'm going to grind this, then I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this. You know, to me, the Super Pass is just, it already lost its flair, in my opinion, just like most of Season 6. Everything in this game has already lost its flair. You know, it's the same stuff over and over again. It's very repetitive. So, yeah, I don't know. Super Pass, good idea, but I think they need to do something else with it. Maybe take it in a different direction. Maybe give us better reward. I don't know. I mean, it's not like it's not worth it. You do get some halfway decent stuff for the price you have to pay for it, but I just feel like they need to do more with this, give us more, maybe make the challenges a little bit easier, less tedious, and you know, that's the same thing with the events. They just need to knock down the point values, the amount of shards you need to find, the amount of points for giants and stuff, or damage, whatever you want to consider it, but I think they need to make those little tweaks just to make this game less of a chore. I think that will kind of get players invested again because, you know, people work in full-time jobs and, and whatever else, school, you know, there's lots of stuff that go on, personal stuff, and uh, not everybody has the time to sit here and just dedicate their life to all of these events. And if they take so long to complete, that's just a bad thing. You know, nobody wants to make, this is pretty much a job in itself. You know, you have to really love this game to want to have to play it to its fullest and go for every event card. Honestly, I took a break from the last LMS that we had for Finn Balor because I just needed a break. This game does become bit of a, uh, you know, too much bit of a chore for me at times. And uh, I just had to take a break from it. Of course, I did get Randy Orton finished up from Road to Glory and I will get the pro of that, of course. But I don't even know if I'm going to get the half heroic or anything like that just because I'm honestly just so like kind of just you know burned out with this game at the moment you know what I mean so yeah they definitely need to tweak the events they definitely need to tweak the super pass make the challenges a lot less a lot shorter make it easier to pull these things that they want you to use like the chairs the road cases the universal titles they need to make these things you know uh, easier to pull from the draft board in my opinion that will uh, kind of help with the you know the the process of getting that done you know because honestly I still didn't even find a steel chair yet and if I did, I didn't notice, and I probably threw the card out, to be honest with you. So, they need to make it easier to pull these items that you need for the Super Pass, if they're going to give us Super Pass challenges like that, you know. So yeah, those were the two things that I wanted to talk about here right out of the gate. And then I think they just, I don't know, they need to change up the way the game plays a little bit. I feel like the animations are just all the same and they're just very boring at this point. They need to add more flair in the animations, maybe make the, the finishers look a little cooler, maybe change up the arenas a little bit just to give it a something different to look at, you know what I mean? I, heck, I don't even care if they charge us for some of these features. Like, if they want to charge us for like a small arena pack where you get to choose what arena you want to fight in, I think that would be kind of cool, just it gives me something to look at, uh, different than what I'm used to looking at, you know, because I get sick of seeing the same uh, menu screens and the, you know, the same game screens and stuff like that, it's all the same, the animations get boring, the screens get boring, uh, you know, just the overall experience is just getting boring because it's all the same stuff, you know what I mean, even Money in the Bank, I feel like what they did with adding those extra animations was cool at first, but now it's just too tedious and it takes too long to get through Money in the Bank matches just because those animations are sometimes 
sometimes very slow, you know, because they're beating each other up with the ladders and yada yada yada, the whole nine yards. I just think the animations are a little bit too slow. They should have maybe like a skip animation or whatever for that. Uh, then it might make people me uh, be more interested with Money in the Bank, you know what I mean? So, those are some things. Add some new cosmetic stuff to the game to change up the appearance a little bit. I think that's some things they could do. Change the animations around. Obviously, like I stated before, tweak the events, you know, the points that you need and the shards you need to find. Tweak that stuff. Make it less. Uh, I, I think that would make the game less of a chore and more people would be interested in it if this game is... Because, you know, the thing is with video games, guys, is... They're supposed to be fun. They're not supposed to feel like a chore. You know what I mean? Games are supposed to be uh, your your way of uh, getting away from stuff, escaping reality and life and life's problems for a little bit. That's what video games are supposed to do. And with Supercard, it honestly just makes my depression even worse. I, I just feel like I just, I don't know. I feel like I just have to do this stuff now. It's kind of just emotion I go through now with this game. And I'm not actually having fun with it anymore. You know what I mean? So I think if they would make this game less of a chore and add new things, new cool things to look at. Give us our unlimited ads back, of course. I don't think that will ever happen, but I think that would be cool. A lot of players would be really happy with that. You know what I mean? But uh, they, they need to do some changes. I've already mentioned a few. Let me know if you guys have a few down below that you think that they could add or change. You know, I think they could even add like a trading system to this game. People have been wanting a trading system in this game for a really long time now and we still have never gotten it. I don't even care if you can't trade with other players. Just add like a little trade section in the store. Maybe put some rewards that you could trade for for that day or for that week or something. You know, maybe they could refresh the rewards every like day or every week whatever they want to do. We definitely need to bring back the credit offers too. That's just something that popped in my head. Uh, we really don't see the credit offers that much anymore. I think we got, the last credit offer we got in this game was about maybe like two months ago. I want to say, I don't even know. I'm just taking a guess. But we did have one like a month or two ago and that was the last one that we've seen. We have not gotten a credit deal, credit offer since then. And it sucks because I remember when I used to get credit offers every week. I think it was like every like Saturday or something, I'd see a credit offer pop up in the game and that's cool I don't care if we only get one once a week but they definitely need to bring those credit offers back uh, to kind of help out the people that don't have a lot of money you know what I mean because the credits do get pretty dang expensive in this game like these like come on let's be real here like 2600 credits that's not worth 20 bucks 7,000 credits that's not worth 50 bucks I could blow through 7,000 credits like like super quick you know I could do it almost instantly if I'm doing a pack opening video you know so that's not worth it 15,000 credits not worth it for a hundred bucks there in my opinion so either make the prices lower here or just give us more credit offers. These are some things they need to change going into Season 7, you know, and then the other stuff that I talked about before. But let me know what you guys think about everything that I discussed here. Uh, do you guys agree with these things? Do you think the events need to have, like, lesser, you know, less points and less stuff uh, to make the events quicker and much easier to go through? Do you think the Super Pass needs to be tweaked a little bit? Uh, you know, do you think we need more credit offers in the game, unlimited ads back? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, and if there's anything that I did not mention here in this video that you think they should add to the game please drop that stuff down below maybe if uh, you know enough people watch this maybe cat daddy will actually see this too you know even share this video get this out there share it on Twitter uh, tag them in it and stuff like that the more people that share this and the more people that see it it gets pushed out there to more people and stuff like that and it just increases the chances of cat daddy actually seeing this video and maybe actually doing stuff uh, going forward you know especially in the season 7 because if they don't do season 7 right I think that's gonna be it I think this game's gonna be killed off because the game's already dying down and uh, if they don't do what the players want for season 7 this game's gonna be completely dead by then you know what I mean like if we go into season 7 and it's pretty much the same thing as season 6 that's it this game is done and I can guarantee that but uh, anyways guys if you enjoyed this video smash the like button subscribe if you're new ring the bell all of that good stuff I'll catch y'all later take care thanks for watching and of course peace out